I don't feel so bad about missing it now. It clashes with my thing. The creep convention, seriously? It's not a creep convention. Well, I think a lot of perverts getting together to wank over some fella who fights with hoovers and rides aliens in a telephone box is the very fucking definition of a creep convention. It's a Doctor Who night. Me and my stepdad used to watch it when I was little. Well, someone should have called social services then, James. You're not going to the prom then, James. Well, I was going to ask you to be my date. I'm sorry, Claire. You were going to ask James to be your date? What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, it's a bit more complicated for me. You're a lesbian, Claire, not desperate. Argument is an insult to the majority of people of Northern Ireland. All right, Ian, we get the idea, like. Am a self <laughs> What are you, foot or not? Uh, the picture's just gone a bit sort of... <laughs> Dear Jesus! You have to give it a bit of a shock now and again. You have to keep it on his toes. I'm not sure you do have to keep it on his toes, Joe. It's a television. <laughs> OK, OK, OK! I'm just going to turn it off and turn it on again. That usually does the trick. There we go. Hmm? Doesn't seem to be anything happening now. This stupid prick's broken the TV, Mary! For God's sake, Jerry! He's been footering. Excuse me, you're the one that was thumping us repeatedly, Joe. i will thump you repeatedly. Well, the pair of you better sort it out. London's burning's on in 20 minutes. God, Mary, but them poor fellas flat out with fire, so they are. Jesus, but they never get a minute. That'll be your date, Claire. But here. If you might talk, they might get the wrong idea. Let them. We need to break down these ridiculous conventions. Are you sure? I'd be proud of you in my arm. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, God. John Paul's over there. Christ, but it's been so awkward since we broke up. For fuck's sake, Aaron, he kissed you on the cheek at Kerry Coyle's 16th birthday party and then passed out in a puddle of his own book. Yeah, he must have voted all right. I'm sure the fact that he's poking a model some consolation. OK, Kara is not a model. She's done some modelling. There's a difference. I heard she's going to be on Baywatch. She's not going to be on Baywatch, Orla. I heard that too, the Baywatch thing. So did I. They don't have people from Derry on Baywatch, OK? We're just too pasty. Can we come in? Why are you whispering? I don't know. Thanks for coming, guys. It's nice to have a bit of support at this very difficult time. You thought she was a dick. I never said that. You did, Erin. I had definitely heard you say it. OK, can I just check something? Everybody else can see the dead body, right? It's just Bridie. It's Bridie's corpse. It's Bridie's dead corpse. It's her wig. What were you expecting? Haven't you ever seen a dead body before? Of course not. <laughs> Christ, but the English are weird. You can touch her if you want. Why the hell would I want to touch her? That's nice. Stop it! It's just a dead body. James, you're all going to be one someday. Oh, thanks for that, Claire. Yeah, that's helped. It looks like they're breaking up. I can't do this anymore. What? Are they really? Are they breaking up? They are. They're breaking up. This is class. What? Later. Erin, what are you doing? She has no respect for herself. I'm coming from me. That is bad. Exactly. Hey. Hey. Hey! Jesus Christ! Sorry. What happened there was... Well, I slightly misjudged the level of my own voice, I think. You are grand. I was in a world of my own. Everything OK? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah. Really? It's just I couldn't help but notice that you and Kara were sort of breaking up about there. Yeah. I mean, it's all cool. Really? It was mutual. It was definitely a mutual thing. Although maybe she wanted to mutually split up a bit more than I did. I see. No, I'm just not sure it was the right decision. It definitely was. We just got each other, you know? I mean, she's so cool and smart. Smart, really? I mean, she's a model, for Christ's sake. She's done some modeling. I'm just wondering whether I should, like, go after her and try and sort it out. You definitely shouldn't do that. Really? Yeah, it's needy. What you should do is take your mind off it. OK, cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> How? Go out with me. Uh, I mean, go out with us, me and my, my friends. We're going to this prom thing on Saturday night. Prom? Sounds sort of Shit. formal. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually not at all. It's actually very informal. And now, I don't mind a bit of a breeze. If anything, I prefer it. But Don was aggressive. So I says to himself, says I, Colm, this is no day for a do. What's happening? For when the bride arrived, and as I say, by this stage, the wind was fierce. My dad. I've never heard wind like it. Is this my week? Howling like a banshee it was. Am I in hell? So the poor girl, the bride now, this is. She arrives anyway, and isn't she no sooner out of the car than she's lifted up in the air like a pepper doll and blown into a flower bed. 
That's actually quite funny. What do you think of this one? I don't know. I'm not sure she really. Good. I don't want to be me. Which of these do you like best? Definitely the pink. Has to be the blue. Yeah, I thought the blue. This doesn't do my babs any justice. Have you decided who you're bringing yet? Well, I've not done you two. There's big Johnny Kelsey who works in Duns. Thick as fuck, but a massive, massive ride. Then there's this other fella. He's not as thick, but he's also not as hot. Although I have heard he is really good with his hands. And when I say he's good with his hands, I'm not talking about putting up shelves, girls. I'm talking Everybody about... Everybody knows what you're talking about, Michelle. Fingering? Honestly. All right. I hope you don't mind, Mrs Quinn, but... It's yourself. Long time, girls. It is indeed. And fair play to you, Cathy. You've kept them eyebrows ship shape, so you have. Credit where credit's due. Oh, you're too kind, Sarah. I'm serious, they're in great nick. That must be some comfort to you. I'm sorry? We heard about your wee divorce. Nightmare? Yeah, it was a difficult decision, but Paul, my ex, well, he just became so controlling. Jesus, really? He was unbearable towards the end. It was always, oh, Cathy, why did you stay out all night? Or who was that man you were having dinner with, Cathy? He was very insecure. Wonder why? I mean, James's father was the same. I just seem to attract the possessive jealous types. I don't know what it is. The eyebrows. No, I hate to impose on you, but um, I just need to make a quick call. And unbelievably, my sister doesn't have a phone. She got rid of it when we wrecked up that massive bell ring in Russell Grant's horoscope hotline. Doesn't see that coming. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Death. Just, just makes you want to do everything and just try everything. What's going on, Michelle? Do you want to say something, class? What is it? Prepare yourself, girls. Scones. That's right. What's so class about scones? Scones are lovely. I, I like scones. No, these aren't any old scones, girls. These are funny scones. Ah, they do look like a crack of fairness. Funny scones. They're jug scones! She's put the jugs in the scones! Too fucking right, I have. I wanted to do brownies, but this was the only recipe my ma had, so... We talked about this, Michelle. We agreed. No, we didn't. In a way. Drugs aren't illegal when you put them under food. Everybody knows that. Is that right? I'm not sure that's right. Any cops up here? I take that. What the fuck just happened? Are you staying with your Deirdre then? Yes, I am, and it's a bloody nightmare if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how small these little houses are. I really don't know how you do it. Always struggle through, Cathy. In our teeny tiny house. But it's all worth it if I get to see my big handsome boy. <laughs> He's going to be the only man in my life from now on. I right. I've just missed him so much. Well, you did dump him here quite a long time ago. Mum's had a lot going on. Yeah. I've actually just started my own business. It's been a real passion project. A real labour of love. <laughs> and it's really starting to take off now, so... Right. And what sort of area is it? Self-adhesive labels. Stickers? I design high-end self-adhesive labels. You make stickers? For bespoke gift packages. You're a sticker maker? No, they're not stickers, exactly. And would there be much money in sticker-making, Cathy? They're not stickers. Labels, they're labels. I think it's going to do really well. Listen here, you. Yes, John. I just want to say... <laughs> I think you're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. I can't believe we're doing this. It's fucking heartbreaking. Look, Grant has had one, and now he's acting really, really weird. You're being paranoid here. He was nice to Daddy. Jesus. Exactly. And if my ma starts asking questions... Your ma won't trace it back to us. Are you for real? She traces everything back to us. She traces things we haven't even done back to us. Are you sure this will work? This is how you get rid of drugs, Claire. I've seen good fellas like 20 times. That's not the only way. I watched this film once about this girl who was trying to hide drugs and what she did was she shoved them right up her... I'm not sticking a scone up my hole, Orla. I'll tell you that for nothing. OK, I'm going to flush. Go for it. Is it working? Of course it's working. Is the water rising? Jesus Christ, why is the water rising, James? Don't know that the water didn't rise in good fellas. Fuck! We've clogged it. Who's the plunger? I'm afraid I left the house without my plunger tonight, Orla. Hey, me too. Nightmare sawdust. Oh. 